first question. Uh, how would you survive a zombie apocalypse? Uh, I think the first question is like, which movie franchise is this zombie apocalypse from? Yeah, let's let's narrow down these zombies. Because they're like Walking Dead, like slow, yes. stumbling zombies, or they're like World War Z, like fast. No, as fuck slow and around. stupid. <laughs> slow. <laughs> yeah, that's what they were. <laughs> slow and stupid. <laughs> that's what they were. Uh, f- I, I don't know. St- get in a building that has doors <laughs> that they can't walk through. I don't know. I mean, I think the real thing is you have to be prepared before the zombie apocalypse yeah, happens. That's true. If you're preparing, if it's like, oh, shit, it's a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, you're already too late. Yeah, you're already kind of screwed. I mean, there's like 1% of people that can go into it unprepared, but everybody else. Uh, okay, so then what if you're not prepared? What do you do in a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> well, I would say, depending on where you're at geographically, you could either be really lucky or very unlucky. Mm-hmm. If you were in a major metropolitan area, probably one of the unlucky ones. Yep. Uh, I mean, I don't know. You, it also depends on like, the type of time of year it is. Like, is it is it super hot or super cold? Because if it's super hot or super cold, you just got to wait. And then, you know, they're just corpses walking around, so they're uh, going to succumb to, the, you know, overexposure. Well, well it's like Halloween, so it's going to be in the fall time. Fall time? Oh, uh, October 31st. Uh, yeah, oh, October oh, 31st. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Halloween. Well, don't give them any candy. <clears throat> <laughs> That's the key. They won't want candy. Well, you see, on Halloween, some people will think that they're costumes, oh. but then they get eaten by the zombies. Oh, okay. yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, I don't get any trick or treaters, so <laughs> yeah. if someone comes to my door, I'll know it's a zombie. Yeah, uh, same here. I no one in my neighborhood that has kids, so <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. Stay inside. I think the biggest threat in a zombie apocalypse is not the zombies, it's other humans. Yeah, I'm with yeah, Doug on that one. Good, it definitely yeah. is other people because, like, you could probably just wait it out, you know, a couple of days, but, like, other people are going to take advantage of that and do some, some bad shit. Yeah, if other people want your stuff, yeah. you have to be able to defend yourself against other people, not the zombies. I was reading somewhere, and I don't know if this is true, if this is true, but they were saying the best place to be during a zombie apocalypse is Walmart. Why? I don't think like so. Like, if you, if you, like, were able to, like, own Walmart. Own a Walmart. Yeah, own a Walmart, yeah. I mean, I think if you could get in there and barricade the doors and everything like that, but the issue is... Yeah, what do you mean, there's like, always There's always hundreds of people in Walmart at any yeah. given time. Yeah, what do you mean, own a Walmart? Like, you're, like, a franchise owner? No, 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 no. Like... <laughs> Because, like, you, your store you, just get looted. No, like, and, you conquered a Walmart. Like, I, I own a Walmart. I mean, I think everybody always says... I'm going to go to Walmart. I'm going to go to Costco. I'm going to create a fortress. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think it's as easy as everybody thinks. No, it's like the mall. Be. Because, yeah, everybody has that idea. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you could get a head start and take over a okay. Walmart and you had a bunch of people that were going to help you, then, yeah. The gas I, station. <clears throat> gas station. Same thing. People are just going to... Wa- Best bet, you have, like, two or three weeks of food just at your house yeah. and enough gasoline to just load up and just take off somewhere. Yeah. Oh, uh, ammo. Go to, yeah, ammo. Ammo. Ammo's yeah, ammo, yeah. That's like it's going to be like a currency. In, in, you know, you're going to need it. But yeah, the Second a, Amendment, dish. people don't know this, but the Second Amendment, it states in the Constitution, right to bear, right to bear arms, kill zombies when the zombies show up. Yeah. Is that factual? Yes, it's factual. Right. They are really forward thinking. <laughs> yeah, that must have been an amendment. They knew. <laughs> they knew. <laughs> that was the 27th Amendment. A, that was a revision to the Second Amendment. <laughs> um, yeah. Although, I would say, see... The other thing, too, is you'd, I'd say you'd have to save the guns for the people, as brutal as that sounds, because I don't think a slow-walking zombie is going to be that hard to kill with an aluminum baseball bat or something like that. Yeah, especially if there's, like... Ammo is going to be precious and finite, yeah. unless you know how to reload and you have a reloading station and all this other stuff that's yeah. really heavy and really hard to move. Firearms aren't going to be the best weapon to actually have. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about, like, walking dead zombies. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to, like, use manual oh. ways to get rid of them. Melee weapons. Melee weapons. I know. You no, steal a tank. You could steal a tank. Do you know how to drive a tank? No. Well, but well, you could figure it out. So. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you could know, do what's that. that what's that from me? <laughs> what's that army base in Southern California that's in the middle of the desert? Fort, Fort Irwin. Fort Irwin. Yeah. That honestly, Fort Irwin would be the best place oh, to ever be go. during a zombie apocalypse. Or, oh, because there's nothing around for 45 <laughs> minutes like, in any direction. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's the like Walking, Walking Dead, Dead when they take over the prison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That wouldn't be bad. Fort Irwin would still be better, I'd say. 
Well, I mean, prison's more secure than Fort Irwin, so... Yeah, but if nobody in Fort Irwin contracted the virus to become the zombie, they would know, and they'd have all that military stuff insulated there. Here's the problem, though. Here's what you're not taking into account, is the military is like, wow, we should really test this on our soldiers, and they'd shoot them up full of zombie virus to see what happens. Mm. And then all the bases get overrun. Oh, yeah, that did happen in that uh, Las Vegas zombie movie that the name escapes me right now. Oh, yeah. Las, Las Vegas, Vegas zombie movie? movie? Uh, no, it, 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 it had Dave Bautista. It was kind of uh, good. Like, yeah, City of the Dead or... Uh, I know you're talking about. I can't remember. what I'm talking about. Yeah. I, never, I didn't watch past the first, like, 20 minutes of it, so I don't know. The issue would be if you can survive the initial, let's just say, three-month craziness of all this stuff and actually sort of be okay... People think, oh, we're good now. No, it would probably only get significantly harder from there Yeah. when all the fresh food is dead oh, and the other food yeah. is limited and then things stop working. Well, that's but when you just call a power company and be like, yo, <laughs> my power's out. Let's turn this shit back on. Well, oh, yeah, we didn't even <laughs> or, think about that. Or, or you, could, you, you know what you could do? I forgot. You could take your F-150 Lightning and you could plug it in and power your house with it. Yeah, yeah you could for like one day. Yeah. yeah, If you have an electric car, you just plug it in. Ele- electric cars truly are the solution to any <laughs> yeah. problem. I, I've yeah. seen it, man. All you do is get your, your gas-powered portable generator. You plug it into your electric car. You plug your electric car into your house. Bam. Yeah. You That's like an infinite loop of yeah. energy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> We're solving all the world's problems over here, man. Yeah, there will yeah, never be a zombie apocalypse as long as you have an electric car, that's for sure. Well, I'm saying, I mean, if I mean, if we're saying that the zombie apocalypse lasts for more than three months, because, I mean, do you think it would really, I mean, three months, yeah, you know, my, get rid of a my lot dad of makes a good point that he's like, realistically, like you, like, I mean, you pointed this out, like a dead body is not, it's going to decompose like yeah. pretty fast. Like, like yeah, within but a couple the, of weeks. Yeah. Or months. And it's just going to be skin. skin. Or but not the problem skin, but is, it's not that. It's them spreading the virus and biting people, no. and it's an endless cycle. Let's be honest. What a Debbie Downer. <laughs> <laughs> a yeah, lot of people get the flu every year. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but I mean. Over, you can become overwhelmed by numbers. It's not that hard. It's true. But, like, we're talking about, like, winter, like, the, hot, the, you know, the coldest part of winter or the hottest part of summer. That's really going to slow them down to the point where. I mean, yeah, Doug, don't be, be so negative. There's always going to be idiots that are going to get contracted. We don't know for sure. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know until it happens. <laughs> it might be happening happen. soon, let's be honest. It could be. Well, I don't know. I think, I think it's, it's already, already happened. happened. COVID-20. Zombie yeah, COVID-20. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think it's time for the next topic. What All do you right. think so? What's the next topic, Max? Scariest movie you've ever seen. Oh, man. A movie that, like, when I mean scariest movie, I mean, like, a movie that, like, like kept you up at night. When a Stranger Calls. I remember it. I was in fifth or sixth grade. You guys know what that movie is? No. Okay. No, I've never seen quick, it. Quick little plot okay. summary for you guys. This girl. Uh, <laughs> wow. Brain fart there. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this girl is a babysitter. She gets called to babysit um, these people. Like kids, obviously you babysit kids. I'm being very, uh, I'm explaining this very poorly. Okay, girl goes to babysit. The house is like 20, 30 minutes out of town, up in the woods, super sick, super cool house, easiest babysitting gig ever. But coincidentally, guy who already murdered one babysitter is like a serial killer. And she's in the house babysitting the two kids. They're up in bed the whole time. She thinks this is sweet. All the snacks, whatever, cool house, blah, 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 blah. But she keeps getting a phone call. And on the other end of the line, I'm pretty sure all she usually hears is like breathing, and she's trying to figure out what's going on. This is a movie where they're like, the and calls she really, yeah, the calls the coming from inside okay. the house. And as a sixth grader, <laughs> who was frequently babysitted, <laughs> scared me. <laughs> um, I would say, I mean, I, I, there's two movies that come to mind, but I know the first one I remember scaring me it wasn't a horror movie. It was the first like Harry Potter movie. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me when I was like, you know, four, five. I don't remember when it came out, but I was so scared. I was, so I guess I would call that not exactly a horror movie, but I guess the horror movie that kept me up was probably, it's called The Possession. Mm. You guys ever see that movie? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it was just like some, some kid got possessed and it was fucking creepy and... You know, it's kind of yeah. it's kind of hard to gauge it. You know, now whenever I, I mean, I'm not a big <clears> fan of scary movies. When I watch scary movies, I usually get pretty hammered, so I don't think they're scary anymore. I have a lot of fun <laughs> laughing at them. So that's the, the possession was the last one that scared me. I I enjoy scary movies. 
the reason I think when a stranger calls scared me more than anything else is because it's a situation that while far fetched could actually happen. Like yeah, somebody could break into a house and try and murder you. I mean, it's not well, too far fetched. No, I mean that, that that's how that's happened. A child getting possessed by a demon. I haven't had any scientific proof. Well, I mean, but I, you never know. I mean, I don't know. But it could be scary. I'm not saying it's not scary. I thought it was pretty scary at the time when I was sober. So I don't know. Max. That's just the one that I remember. You, Max. Yeah, uh, I'd say The Conjuring. Have you seen The Conjuring? No. You haven't? I try and keep demons outside of my... Oh, dude, Conjuring was freaking scary. The Conjuring. I think... Yeah. What, tell me about... Explain that one to me. I think so I may it's, have So it's seen about it. a, like a haunted house. Okay. Like these uh, paranormal activity people come in to try to like... Oh, that lady that... It. Like the woman and, and her husband... Yeah, well, it's like a family that lives there. Yeah, but is, the, is that the one where, like, in the picture, the guy's standing there and you can see like feet floating behind him? No, is that the one where like that red guy? No, Have you guys like seen Aquaman? The, it was it was the video. I, I I can't. I don't know how to. Explain. It was a it's scary. The, yeah, movie. the guy who plays Orm in the Aquaman movie. I haven't seen the Aquaman movie. I think it was good. About, I, it's the red guy. I yeah, think yeah. That's what well, you're if you guys, about. if you guys want the red see, guys like behind him. And, yeah. yeah. Okay. I've, I've seen. If that you one. guys want to see a good movie, like good scary movie, watch that one. I've, I've heard, heard the Conjuring has a really good like backstory. Well, it's based off. Well, it's based off a true story. Okay. But uh, it's a good movie. Why do you say based off? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm with Max on that because I, I like, don't know. I feel like when you, when you see a movie and they say based off a true story, like that's a pretty loose. Term. Yeah, exactly. It's but like, when they say like it is a true story, then it's like a real. Yeah, because when it true. says based off a true story, you're yeah. thinking, okay, how like 90 percent of it was probably all made up, and then like 10 percent of it was real. Yeah, because you, you know, you say, Friday Night Lights. <laughs> Based off a true story, <laughs> that season was really nothing like that. Yeah, well, I mean, it's true. You they, can, you know, they didn't even get to the state finals. They lost in the quarter or semifinals to that same team. They could say, like, you know, based on a true story, and, like, the true story is, like, people went to investigate paranormal activity, and that's it. You know, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean they found anything. True. Yeah. So Loosely based. Loosely based on a true events. So I could see that. But it's, it's, a, good, it's a good movie. Yeah, I think, I think I have seen that one. I think I've seen two of the Conjury movies, actually. I, I I've only seen, seen the first one. one. I tried watching the stupid Annabelle. Never seen movie. it. Eh, nah, wasn't that wasn't scary. Did you guys ever see that movie, Dead Silence? It was a little while back. Ooh, Dead Silence. What's that about? Um, Look so about yeah. how this like old ghost lady scares you, and if you make a noise, she'll rip your tongue out. Oh. And then that's how they die. And oh. there's like a doll of ventriloquist dummy. Oh, that's right. To do yeah, that was pretty. That was nope. pretty spooky. Never it was saw it. Spooky. But. Kind of forgettable. Uh, you guys ever seen the movie Event Horizon? Mm -mm. You ever see that movie? No. Uh, it sounds familiar. What's that about? It's like it's like a space movie. Like they, this spaceship like tries to like, you know, rip a wormhole or whatever and go from like one part of space to another. But like the ship disappears for like ten years and then like it shows back up and, but they're like they can't find anybody. It's it's a. Hmm. It's a pretty good. I like it as far as scary movie goes. It's pretty good. Hmm. It's pretty is it more creepy. horror or thriller? It's a more th horror. That sounds good. I'd actually watch that. It is a good one. It has some pretty big names in it. It has like uh, Lawrence Fishburne's in it. Oh, okay. I know what movie you're talking about. I haven't yeah. seen it, but I am is aware it, of its existence. The guy who plays the like the on Jurassic Park. He's like the paleontologist. He's in it. Um, it's a good. It's a good movie. But the thing that's really crazy about it is apparently it was way way scarier but they had to cut it down because it was like too scary hmm. Hmm. and then like the film was like <clears throat> taken to like was stored in a Transylvanian salt mine and now it's like ruined because they sorted it improperly so like people will never see like the final cut of what it used to be huh. what? it's fucking weird I kind of wish I could have seen it it's a pretty good movie alright you guys ready for the next topic next topic um, scariest, like, moment in real life. This includes, like, every... Like, moments where you're like, oh, shit. That really fucking scared me. Scariest moments in real life? That's a tough one. Um... Yeah, what do you mean scary? Like, you're not, like, paranormal scary? No, not paranormal, like, just, like, like, something that just scared the shit out of you. Like, you almost shit your pants. <laughs> 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 Um, there was this one time in high school. <laughs> Jensen? <laughs> I'm trying to... Uh, 
I wouldn't necessarily say it was one of the scariest moments. It was one of the we- creepiest moments. Or creepy moment, yeah. Um, so where I grew up in Southern California, obviously like close to the ocean, they had giant storm drains, like people-sized storm drains that you could go into. Okay. And one time, me and my buddies at one night just said, hey, let's go in and like go check it out. And we probably went like half a mile into a storm drain where obviously there's no lights in there. Yeah. And we just had flashlights. And there's all this graffiti on the walls and like satanic stuff. Obviously, just like other people probably being stupid. But, you know, yeah. it gets pretty creepy. And we got well, in yeah. real far. And then we heard a creepy noise. And we all booked it. But <laughs> that's probably the scariest situation I've ever been in, I guess. Not a great story. Yeah, mine's not that good either. I mean, I was well, like, probably, the, probably one of the scariest things I did, which wasn't really that scary, I guess, was like that old, what, insane asylum or whatever, or hospital that was torn down, you know? Yeah, I remember that. Remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it was. It was in the, Nampa, right? Yeah, it was like on yeah. Lake Lowell. It like caught on fire behind, or something. Huh. Like behind NNU or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I remember I, like when it was like in shambles, like in ruins before it got torn down. Me and my buddies went at night and tried to like, like go into it. And we got like you know one foot into it before we were like, nope, <laughs> no, we're not going in. <laughs> But it was a it was a fun creepy experience I guess with my friends. I there mean, you yeah, go. One well, thing, that that fits it. One thing that I never did, but a couple of my buddies did, was we had a this Kmart's obviously go out of business all over the country. We had a Kmart that went out of business and it was all boarded up, but it was still there for years. So like people would always go in, but there was like a giant homeless population of people living in there, and like so you never knew who was in there, and I guess that got real freaky. But yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't dumb enough I to go in. Definitely so. imagine that would get pretty pretty creepy. All right, Max, what's your story? So, well, I, I got a few. The, the first one was really funny. Like, um, this was back when, I don't know, I was like a, like, kind of like a kid. Okay. And my parents were gone, just like me, home alone. And I'm like playing Resident Evil 2 on like the PlayStation or on the Nintendo 64. I'm playing this game. Kind of creepy, you know? And like, I hear some, like, I hear a sneeze from within my closet and it like and I like ran outside as fast as I could like it freaked me out it was like daylight you know I was like oh my gosh someone's in my closet like what the fuck well it turned out it was my hamster that was sneezing <laughs> okay uh your hamster lived in your closet no he didn't live in my closet it sounded like it came from the closet oh your hamster could throw his voice yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I guess I... That's a talented but, hamster. Jeez. That I guess scared I, the shit out of me. I was like, oh, shit. I have, like, another one that isn't really creepy, but it definitely, like... <laughs> I was in my room. I live by my parents, and it was in my room, and no one else was home, but, I, like, I could definitely hear people talking, and I was like, what the hell is going on? So, like, we are like, walked in the living room, didn't see anybody, went back to my room, and I could still hear people talking. My dad left his computer on, like oh, streaming no. like a sports event, and so there's people talking on the t- uh, like his computer, but I like it was just really faint. So I was oh. like, "Am I imagining this?" That's, That's creepy. creepy. But it was you know it was during the day, and so, so I wasn't like freaked out. But I was like, "I know I'm not crazy." Like the studio talking. That's that's creepy. So that was kind of that was kind of. <laughs> you probably would have gotten creeped out if it was at nighttime. Yeah, well, I, I probably would have thoroughly checked the house if it was nighttime. But I was like, yeah, I don't really care. So I guess that's my other story that I just remembered. Yeah. Okay, next topic. It is, well, nightmares. I don't know. Do you guys have nightmares? <laughs> I have weird dreams. <laughs> I have really weird dreams too, man. I mean, I've had nightmares before. I don't really have many more, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I know I do, but I can't. When I was a kid, The Wizard of Oz freaked me out pretty bad. Oh, yeah? I had nightmares about The Wizard of Oz as like a four-year-old, but. Yeah, I had some. I don't. I don't really. Ha- I just have really weird dreams. I don't yeah. have. Ni- I would never necessarily say I have nightmares at all. Even if it's a nightmare, it's still just like a weird dream to me. Because I don't wake up ever like, ah, oh, like freaking out, sweating, like scared. Are you never I just wake woke up, up like, like oh. screaming? No. <laughs> I said there was like a period of my life where I had nightmares like almost every night. Like when I was in like maybe like the end of middle school, the beginning of high school, something like that. But I don't really remember them. I remember them like waking up and being like, "Oh, that was a bad dream," but like I couldn't put it into words, you know? Yeah. So I mean, I yes, but yeah, no. I'm with Doug. I've never like woken up like sweating and being like, "Oh, <laughs> oh," you know, never done that. I don't think so. 
I probably I had a nightmare, but I already told my brother about it on a different podcast. Well, we need to hear about it. Yeah, what is it? For the sake of the podcast, Max, yeah, Max. you got to do it. It's a long one. That's I don't want to go through it. We, we have the time. Give us the short version. The short version? I don't think there is a true thing. It's a short version. Okay. Give us the full version, then. Yeah. I don't want to explain it. Okay, fine. Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll explain it. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> so, so I it was it started off as like a work dream, right? I was like at work, minding my own business. What work were you at at the time? Uh, station. Okay. So okay. I was like editing video, mm-hmm. and like this little girl like comes in, and she's just like curious of what I do, you know, what I'm doing for work. I'm like I just like show her. I'm like this is what I'm doing for work, you know. She's like okay, and she like leaves, and then like moments later, the mother is like frantically looking for her. She's like she's like, did you see my child? I'm like. Yeah, like she was just in here a moment ago. She's like, "Oh no, like you're gonna die tonight." I was like, "What?" <laughs> what? I was like, "What the shit. fuck?" So then, like, the dream kind of just like morphed into nothing. Like, there's like a period of time where like, it just like, I don't remember what. Like, the dream went on, but I don't mm-hmm. remember that. Mm-hmm. And then I remember waking up at night, and it's like pitch black, and there's like siren lights or whatever. And my dad like comes bursting through my door, and he's like, "He's like, dude, he's like." You gotta hide. I'm like, what? I'm like, what's going on here? He's like, he's like, I don't know. Like, hide in the bathroom. So I like hid in the bathroom. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? It's like pitch black, and like the door opens, and it's the little like girl's like silhouette, and I like woke up screaming. I was like, that's a freak. That's that's a pretty freaky dream. That's a pretty freaky dream. Yeah, it was crazy. Now, based on us talking about scary dreams. Do you wish you could go back and like rewatch your dreams after the yeah. afterwards? I do. Yeah, I would because I'd like to figure out yeah. what the hell what was the going on in my brain. Dude. Yeah, I wish I could. That's too. one I'd want to watch. There's again. some dreams where I'm like, "What the hell was I thinking about?" I yeah. mean, I can I can rewatch the last dream I had in my brain because it was so weird. I could. Oh God. You want to hear it? It's a little weird. Yeah, sure. All right. Let's this is it, not man. a very PC dream. All right, we don't care. <laughs> but I'll give you the short version. <laughs> she was a short version. I have. I am walking. Uh, I'm in an, a, a random apartment complex with my wife, and we are doing the laundry, and we did the laundry, and we're wa- we're no. walking up the stairs to a second story apartment. So like you were doing it like in the laundry room. Not like I don't know. Your, okay. I just had a laundry basket. Okay. And all of a sudden, my cat is in the laundry basket, and my wife's like, "Let me see the cat. Let me see the cat." I'm like, "No, we have to go back to the apartment." <laughs> And she lunges for the cat, and I kind of move, and the cat falls from the second story of the apartment, lands on some nice, soft bed of grass. Everything's good. Few, few moment, right? But all of a sudden, like, tons of snakes just emerge from the grass, and my cat is, like, battling these snakes. And then one, it was a cobra. I believe it was a cobra. And a cobra gets my cat. But it's still alive. <laughs> And then this is where the dream gets a little bit hazy. (laughs) All of a sudden, we're in a church with my uncle and my cousins. Um, But my uncle gets a phone call. He tells me, hey, the cat just got out of surgery. It's going to make it, but it has autism now. (laughs) And that was the last dream I had. Oh, my gosh. It's autism. Yeah. Yeah. I And guess what? I would love to figure out what I ate before dinner to make me have that dream. Oh, my gosh. Well, I had a I had a wild dream one time where uh, this is when I was living in the apartments. Yeah. And, well, it fits in. There was a zombie apocalypse, right? And um, I'm with, like, this guy I don't even know, like, because we're, like, on survival mode. And he's all, like, we're, like, holding the front door closed because, like, a zombie's trying to come in, you know? And then, like, oh, like, it's like a horror movie, you know? And all of a sudden, my, like, oven's, my oven's timer goes off. I'm like, oh, dude, hold it. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta go finish this pasta over here. So I, like, go over. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I gotta finish this pasta here. And the guy's like, the guy's like, help me, I'm gonna die. I'm just, like, cooking this pasta. I'm like, I'm like, dude, don't worry about it. I'm like, I gotta finish this pasta, you know? And then I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom, and this guy's just, like, freaking out. He's like, ah. I woke up, I was like, that is so weird. Like, I just, like, didn't care. <laughs> God, yeah, I have too many weird moments with dreams like that. Yeah, I definitely have some weird dreams like that, too. But, like, what the fuck? Like, what am I thinking about? Like, what is my brain doing up there? <laughs> oh, okay, actually, I have, I have like, a nightmare, I remember. A different kind of nightmare. Okay. 
<laughs> it was so when when I got out of the army. So when you when you ETS when you get out, you what you have is you'll have like terminal leave. You'll have like you know however many leave days you have left, like vacation days. You'll take all of them at the end. So you so I think I got you know had like uh, like thirty six terminal leave days. So I was like on thirty six days of leave, and I remember I was back from Germany. In the U.S. and my dream was I I had my in my dream I had flown back to Germany and like went back to work mm. during my leave and I was like freaking out because like it was the only time I've ever been dreaming where I was like I know I'm dreaming I know it's not real it's like but one I can't of those nightmares where it's like you don't was, want it to be true I was like I can't I was like I gotta wake up I gotta wake up but I couldn't wake up and I was like oh my god so I woke up but it was a horrible dream I was like I was like I know I'm not back at work. I would, I'd put that in the nightmare category. Not so much anymore, but when I was younger, I would frequently have dreams where I'd have to fight someone off or something, and I would be punching as hard as I physically could, oh, yeah. but I just couldn't punch them, you know? <laughs> do you ever have those dreams where, like, you, like, you'd hit them as hard as you could, but, like, it didn't do anything? I often no, have. I never had one Or you're dreams. running and your feet are just kind of, like, so, not going anywhere. You can't get traction. I've, I've had, yeah, I've, oh. had the, I've had the where I can't run. I've had where I, like, the uh, punches don't do anything. But I've also had, like, where I'm shooting a gun and, like, no, it doesn't do anything. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I've never had one of those dreams. Me and Eddie um, always had the dreams of being late. Like, no matter what you do, kind of the same thing. Like, no matter what you're doing, you just, like, can never get there on time. Or, like, you can never, like, like fulfill the task. You're like, what the fuck? I get that. I mean, you know? for years after I got out of school, I would still have dreams about, like, missing classes and not being in school and stuff Uh-oh. like that. Eddie's here. So, so we're, we're talking, talking about, about what? Hocus, Hocus Pocus? Hocus Pocus and Hocus Pocus 2. Did you see Hocus Pocus 2? I saw yes. Hocus Pocus 2 about two weeks ago. What did you think of it? I thought it was good, but it wasn't nearly as good as the first movie. The original's definitely better. But they had some really funny one-liners. They did. It was pretty funny. And the whole uh, musical number where they're uh, singing in the forest when they come back. And they're like, who are they singing about? And she's like, you. That actually made me jump a little bit. That was pretty creepy. Actually, I really, really liked the. About, you seen I really it, liked the Roombas. Yes, the Roombas <laughs> was great. See, so in oh. the original, she, one of the sisters, had a vacuum cleaner with a cord and a bag and everything. It's from the nineties. Well, now a lot of the vacuums are the little Roombas, and so she rode Roombas around, like and then they got skates. stuck in a salt circle and they couldn't get out and eventually the Roombas found them and <laughs> the Roombas cleaned up the circle so they could get out. Is this which, the first That was pretty funny. No, this is the second one. This uh, is so, the, so the first movie basically they lose their brooms like these little oh, girls okay. come by and yeah, steal yeah, them yeah, yeah. and only one has a broom so the other one's riding a mop and the other one's riding a vacuum cleaner and the second movie is sort of similar except one of them's riding a Swiffer and the other one's riding a two Swiffer Roombas mop. like they're roller skates. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a it really long time. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Hocus Pocus. Isn't that the one with the three witches? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. My last time I saw that movie was probably when I was like nine. I don't know. What year was it when you were nine? Just curious. I don't know. How old are you now? 31. Early 90s. That movie came out in 93. Really? Yep. Holy shit. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, the girls that play the younger version of the sisters did such a good job. Yeah, they were pretty good. And it's sort of, I'm going to get into the weeds here, but I feel like that was a very good uh, like throwback to how they were raised because realizing that they went into the woods to live by themselves when they were like 12 years old, it makes sense how stupid they are when they're adults in the movie. It's like, oh, this is why they're so dumb because they've been 12, they're basically 12 year olds who are 100, 100 years old or however old they are. I thought it was pretty funny when they did the uh, the Sanderson sisters look alike contest, that was and the good. Sanderson sisters, the real ones, lost. They but, were we got, <laughs> but we got another good musical number. We did. <laughs> I think I think Billy Butcherson was a better character in the second movie than the first movie. Really? I think he was funnier this time. He was funnier. I'm sorry, Eddie's just distracting the fuck out of me. Um, okay, so like. Uh, are there like any horror movies you like? Like good horror Halloween. movies. Halloween. Halloween. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite. Oh, scary movies. Most scary movies don't really scare me, because I'm into I'm really into true crime. But like 
the creepy scary is the ones those are the ones that get me well like do like, you have like a favorite one i have i don't i was gonna say the only creepy scary ones that still get me are the older ones like 13 ghosts and the ring because they're creepy oh, yeah, i've never seen the ring but i'm sure it was scary. <laughs> <laughs> probably why i've never seen it right on yeah, just like the way she crawls around. I think the second ring was better, where they were in the house. Was that the one where they were the house in Japan? I've never, I've never seen any of the movies. I don't like demonic movies. Kind of freak me out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, those are the only ones that get me. Are those creepy ones? Demonic movies like Ouija boards. I don't play with that stuff. Oh yeah, Ouija board. That was that was my last topic. Was about the Ouija board. Oh, uh, the Ouija board. Yeah, I don't necessarily believe in it, but you never really know. So that's why I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna play with the Ouija board. What about light as a feather, stiff as a board? What is that? Do you believe that would ever work? Because I never believed it worked. What is that? But maybe it didn't work because I didn't believe. Is that the Ouija board? No, that's like. <laughs> Girl, I don't know if guys did it, but girls did it at sleepovers back in the day. And, like, one girl would lay stiff as a board, and all the other girls would, like, with one finger, like, lift her up, and she would just raise up because she was what? light as a feather. Mm. This is what girls were doing at slumber parties. <laughs> that sounds I very <laughs> demonic. <laughs> this is something that girls did at sleepovers, yep. The, the whole Bloody Mary thing, I never did that, but that sounded pretty freaky to me. Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah, I tried that when I was a kid. I'm like, this shit isn't working. Did you ever see Candyman? Yeah, I tried that too. Did you ever do it in the mirror? Yeah, that didn't work either. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, uh, where did movies take place? And I'll say what movies really, really scared me. Uh, they're the lamest ones, but it's the paranormal activity movies really freaked me out. Yeah, the first one was the ones creepy. the ones where they ran around in the first person? Oh, that's Blair Witch. Never mind. Uh, Paranormal Activity is like, it's basically all just almost like their own home videos, just recording themselves when they sleep or just oh, like throughout yes, the I day. Yeah, what would go crazy is they would, they would mute the sound and they would go into like a, like a, kind of like a time lapse. And then over time you would see like the door open, you know, and then you're like, that shit gives me chills. Like, or like a door slamming or just like little things like that right sometimes I or like the blanket moving off of the baby in the crib <laughs> I do not believe those ones I don't believe the movie itself but like you could like if that ever happened to me I, it's done I will say I can't sleep with my feet uncovered because of like stuff like that like having your uh, feet uncovered well like when I was a little kid and like I had my bed or whatever, and I don't know. I just don't like having my feet sticking out from under a blanket or something like that when I'm asleep, because I know it's probably not going to happen. But just in the event that something like touched my feet or grabbed my feet, I'm just not about it. So the feet remain covered. <laughs> Did anyone else watch the uh, Jeffrey Dahmer series? I watched the first episode. I don't know what that is. And you know what they say? You know who he is, though. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, is this on Netflix? Yeah. Mm -hmm. About that, like, serial killer? Yeah. No, I didn't oh, watch it. Serial killers. We could go deep into serial killers. Oh, there you go. Jeffy That's Dahmer. what my podcast is about. If you can't beat him, eat him. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I didn't see it. it. It sounds crazy, though. My personal favorite serial killer is Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker. But that's just because that's sort of more local to where I grew up. Hmm. Like, I'd say the Green River Killer because I spent a lot of time in... In the Portland area, like the Portland, like my favorite serial killer, you know, like People of all have the of all the serial killers, I thought Richard Ramirez was is personally my favorite. I honestly I'm, don't pay a whole lot of attention to killers and violence and stuff. I don't know, it just it puts me to sleep. What? <laughs> that puts you to sleep, huh? I listen to a podcast where the two guys are just, they're a true crime podcast. And a lot of people will call in and leave messages or email and say like, yeah, to go to bed, I like just put you guys on. Their their voices are soothing. Yeah, it has nothing to boring. do with the story. Yeah, no, it has boring. nothing to do with the story because the stories are not boring. Well, yeah, I but think their you're right. Voices. Yeah, I think you're right. It's like the voices and the music and you're just like, this is so boring. All right. There's an eight episode documentary on Netflix. I think it's called The Night Stalker. And I started it one night at probably 8 p.m. It was probably, I think it was a Saturday, too. And we're watching it. And I'm like, oh, hey, to my wife. I'm like, let's just watch this. Let's watch the first episode. Like, because I used to hear about this. 
I remember like we, we would hear stories from adults like when we were kids about like how they were freaked out to go to bed at night because his whole thing was he'd walk around neighborhoods and people who left their windows unlocked that's how he'd get in yeah hmm. and dude freaky stuff but we started watching it and it's basically the whole story about the two los angeles detectives who were after him the whole time and it's i watched all the episodes in one night i think we went to bed at like 3 a.m it's that good i don't know it just doesn't interest me well have you ever spent Maybe. any time trying to get interested <laughs> i don't know I had a productive Saturday today cleaning my house, and the entire time I'm listening to an audiobook, and the audiobook is on female serial killers. Oh, female serial killers. Yeah, it's all about See, the female serial killers. I think why, that's don't we, why don't we hear more yeah, about Yeah, I think that's, that's interesting because you don't hear a lot about that. Yeah. Yeah. They aren't as prevalent in killing pe- random people. Mm. Women are more likely to kill their loved ones. Oh, okay. I feel like you always also hear about like the crazy like late 1800s nurses who like killed a bunch of patients mm-hmm. or like like weird people who killed babies. Like I'm not saying like it's a weird thing, but just like because women were in those roles, they would do like horrible, freaky things, and you never hear about it. Or they would like inject they would like inject them with like small amounts of mercury while they're on like the their hospital bed and then autopsy would reveal later that they poisoned them yeah i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure recently there's some lady who just got convicted in like the uk or something and she was a nurse and she was killing old people and like taking selfies like with their dead bodies i'm not even kidding i'm not even kidding oh my god i saw (laughs) i saw the craziest headline recently that a woman got charged for having sex with like a dead corpse at like a funeral home and like she got impregnated by his dead corpse. <laughs> uh, what? I don't know about that one. That doesn't know. That doesn't. I don't know. I don't know how you, uh, people are like, how is that even possible? By the time it gets to the funeral home, like, there's nothing living on that guy. Or she was like, I can't remember what she did. She does, like, autopsies <laughs> or whatever, but she, like, had sex with, I don't know. She got pregnant or something. <laughs> well, at least, I, I at, don't. Hey, at least we can say rigor mortis had definitely set in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. No, like, I was like, how is this even possible? possible? I don't think it is. Uh, I don't think it is either. That's now. <laughs> <That's> strange. <laughs> That's your media. <laughs> Do you, you guys have all seen the like the big three like 1980s, right? Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger. Oh, oh, you mean uh, horror stories? No, like horror the movies. movies. Like the They're movies. movies. Yeah, who's from? You guys are familiar with these characters. Yeah, yeah. yeah who do, yeah. Who, who do you think is the best? Because um, those are always the three that it comes back to. Yeah, and uh, Chucky. You forgot about Chucky. Mm, Chucky's a joke. <laughs> <Pop it. laughs> you just kick him in the gut and goes flying everywhere. Um, yeah, it's true. Yeah, why is anyone scared of a doll? <laughs> well, I was when I was a kid. He did, <laughs> he did kick that lady out of a window somehow. Okay. But this doll slasher. Slasher. The hash slinging slasher. slasher. The slasher. The hash. But, but uh, I would say the one that I remember the most was Halloween. Was, I do yeah. think Michael Myers of the big three is the best. Yeah. Just because the, the reason why I say that is because he, he was like a real, like a real person. Whereas like the other characters are like more like fantasy. You know? Well, I think right? in, the fir- in like the first movies – they're always a real person, but I think it got way like they all got pretty far fetched. But obviously, Freddy Krueger is the most far fetched. Kills in your dreams. Well, so yeah, that that's dumb. And yeah, um, but between Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers, I still think Michael Myers is best because while they both sort of come back from the dead, or Michael Myers keeps surviving somehow, Jason Voorhees got way too like out there. I think he went to space at one point. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh yeah, Michael Myers, the guy with the ski, the hockey. He's, the hockey that hockey Jason mask. Voorhees yeah. has the hockey mask. Yeah. Michael Myers has like the coveralls and yeah. like the white yeah. mask. Oh. He, I, he's, I think he's way freakier. Yeah, yeah, I agree because uh, those other two characters were more kind of like, I don't know, fantasy in my opinion. But Michael Myers is like the true like, oh, this guy's like real. I don't know. I mean, that was like the first like traditional slasher movie was Halloween in like 78 or 79 whatever that was 
Well, we hit a dead spot. <laughs> oh, I can keep talking about murderers. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like there my favorite was when uh, in Family Guy they had Tom Tucker was the guy who played like Michael Myers. He's like, good evening, I'm Michael Myers. I'll be right back. It's like, I have enormous psychological problems. I'm going to take that on you. Like, it's like, <laughs> it's the video from the movie, but it's like him talking over it. That shit's hilarious. You guys ever seen that? No. It's hilarious. It's yeah. Yeah, like in Family Guy, Tom Tucker, like the news guy, was like the guy who, yeah, the guy who, he played like, he like played Michael Myers in like the Halloween movies. And then like, he became a newscaster. Like, that's, like, his backstory. You know what? Uh, uh, like, I'll have to say, I, I definitely have to, like, rebrush up on my, on some of my... You come sit here. No, no, no. You just got the mic right there. Uh, brush up on some of the older movies for sure, but, like, I grew up kind of watching, like, uh, like The House of Wax or, mm -hmm. like, Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or, like, all those, or, or like... Uh, Wrong Turn or all those movies like those ones were super gory and uh, ridiculous. I, yeah, I'll say this like I, I'm, I don't like, like I saw Saw, and I don't like mm. the uh, like the torture movies. Those ones, those ones like hit a chord with me. Like I just don't like. Yeah, I like those ones. Those I will are on the creepy side. I will say that Saw, the Saw franchise, gets the award for the most convoluted storyline ever created. <laughs> that I will say. No, I didn't. I, I'm, I'm with Eddie. Like, uh, I, this is, yeah, this was um, a while back. I um, was on a date, and we tried to watch the remake of Evil Dead. And, um, like, we just had to stop watching it halfway through. It was just too painful to watch. Like, like, a woman's, like, like cutting her tongue in half, and you're just like, what the fuck am I watching? You got another guy's, like, sawing his bones in half. You're like, what? Like, what is this? This isn't even, like, fun to watch. This is just gross. It's the most fucked up movie I ever saw. Most fucked up movie I ever saw was uh, centipede, Human Centipede. That was the <laughs> most... Fucked up movie. Uh, have you seen I've that? Never I, seen I, I've it, never seen it, but I've heard the synopsis. Yeah, I, I, I've heard what it is, but I've never seen it. The whole premise is, it's just, it's just so wrong. Like, it's just the most disturbing thing you can ever think of. And so they made a movie on it. But like the way that the dude would like capture the the people, he would like in this like um, like parking garage. He would like hit them over the head with a with a hammer, right, to like knock them out. So they'd be knocked out. He'd drag them over, and then like he didn't want them to get away, right? So he would cut the Achilles tendon on their on their on their legs, mm -hmm. like on their heel. On their heels, he'd cut their Achilles so they couldn't run away, right? So all they could do was walk around on their hands and feet, and and then like, and then he'd like knock them out again. Well, well, next thing you know, like he's like he sews their mouth to her fucking ass, <laughs> and then so like there, there's like this in this room, like this concrete room, and they're all like sewn together. How many? Like a dozen people. It's like number on, two, man. Bit of moral story. They never go to Europe. <laughs> right. So, and then um, uh, he would feed the first person, and then like he wanted he he injected them with like laxative or like uh, stuff to make it like go through, and it was just the most disturbing thing I've ever seen in my life. That was just the most. Have you seen it, Max? I I've never seen it. Um... I've heard it was, yeah, I've heard it's not good. I don't want to see it. Yeah. Well, I, I, feel, I feel like that's a movie that you can't unsee. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, you have to see it, well, that's, but you can't unsee Like two girls, one cup? Oh, my gosh. I went down a rabbit hole. Well, not like. <laughs> Never seen it. It's not a movie. Oh, no, no, I haven't seen no, it. No, so I went down a rabbit hole. <laughs> but i definitely seen the, the clip of the two girls, one cup. I went down a rabbit hole of watching people's reactions of that that video. I didn't I didn't really see it, but like people's reactions were like hilarious. 
I knew going into it what I was expecting, but yeah, I didn't watch it. Was it, it really first. gross? It's disgusting. <laughs> it's <laughs> It's disgusting. Yeah, don't they like like aren't they um like pooping in each other's mouth and like No, they poop like into that? a cup and then they drink it. Oh gosh. We really got off the rails <laughs> on this podcast, man. <laughs> like really bad. The worst we've ever done. <laughs> So I knew that horror movies like Hostel were not real, but before I went to Europe my first time, you always think about those movies that you've seen. Like, I know I'm going to go to these places and I know I'm staying in hostels like, nah, I don't need to worry. But then in the back of your head, you're worrying. I never saw that movie, but I heard that was another really nasty movie. Girl that gets her eyes torched out with the torch. I don't remember the details. It's been a long time yeah, since I've seen her. those. But before. The guy takes a torch to both of her eyes. And then at the very end of the movie, that's when she like sacrifices herself to save a baby somehow. I don't think that's I don't. That, there's no babies in Hostel, I'm pretty sure. Like. Hey, to like kill and like torture. Oh. Like tra- yeah. travelers, basically. <laughs> what, what, was that movie where, what was it called where they had um, I think they got prisoners and they had like these different levels and this like elevator would come down with food on it and everybody would like eat their oh, food I platform. know what movie yes that's it platform, platform. platform that's right. yeah. and, and, and like yeah that was pretty messed up <laughs> yeah Okay, Max. Uh, hold on. Let's uh, let's talk about some funny, scary movies. Yeah. Like funny, oh, funny, funny ones. ones. Like, uh, did you guys ever see like the Gremlins series? Like the Gremlins. I don't, I don't know. Nope. I never seen the Gremlins. You ever seen uh, like a haunted house? They're making fun of like the paranormal activity thing. No, that's like scary movie. Scary movie. Yeah. yeah well, there, there's a movie called A Haunted House. It's making fun of paranormal activity stuff. That shit's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's really funny. Like, these guys, like, these paranormal activity investigators come, and it's like, oh, it's the guy from Anchorman who wears a cowboy hat. And he's like, he's like, this isn't like, he's like, they're like filming, he's like, this isn't some like, oh, I saw my dead Nana. He's like, this is some like, a cop's pulling me over, and I got a hot crack pipe under the seat, scary. <laughs> I saw a video the other day of someone getting rid of their drugs on a traffic stop. They let a, bal- a helium balloon out the window and the drugs just floated away. That was pretty clever. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> I mean, it is. If you have a helium balloon with you. For real. <laughs> I think the one Maybe he's mo- a clown. I think the one movie that me and Max can recite by... by Heart is Tremors. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Tremors. I was gonna say Tremors. Yes. I grew up watching I Tremors. Love... I played Tremors as a kid. Yeah, we loved like, Tremors. Like we had to be on so- top of things so that the Tremors wouldn't get us. Yeah, yeah. me and Eddie, yeah, we watched that movie. and we like know every single line. Like, like start to yeah, start to finish. Like, just <laughs> what? What did you say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can attest to that. I've watched the movie with you guys, and you never shut up. So. <laughs> oh, dude, it was awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. Like it was so bad. So sorry about that, Jensen. It's all right. But I think know, only the first two are any good. I don't think anything past the first two was really very good. How many are there? I don't know. There's a lot. Movie number seven, like Sh- Shrieker Island. Or <laughs> yeah, like, like dude, dude, Eddie. Eddie. So, because I have the the trilogy, which is the first. Yeah, three. the first oh, four. And then and then I was shopping at and then I was shopping at Walmart and they go the Trimmers trilogy. The seven movies. I'm like seven movies. It's like up to number that would be a seven. Box set, not a trilogy. Trilogy's three. Or yeah, the box set. I don't know. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? You a said a trilogy. Well, yeah, and yeah, like yeah, four yeah. Well, movies. <laughs> well, look how I'm dressed. This this freaking mullet is seeping into my brain. <laughs> and I'm drinking Paps. It's a double whammy. I literally talked about that on the way here. I'm like, we should stop and get beer. He's like, I got some, but I said, as long as it's not Pat, it's not as long as it's not PBR. Uh, uh, you guys seen uh, Tucker and Dale 
Escape Evil. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've never done Verse Evil. Oh, Verse no, Evil. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Never so good. I've never even heard You've of it. You've never this. seen that? Never even oh, heard of it. Oh, that is the greatest, like, skit. It's not even a scary movie, but it's like a spoof movie. Yeah. Yeah, so I. I yeah. Um, wait, what was it called again? Yeah, so it's about these, like, two hillbillies that look like, like murderers. And. They're just like innocent, like they're just innocent and friendly and stuff. And they come across like this group of like people that are like camp, yeah, they're camping out in the woods, and they like they they keep freaking these college kids out, and they keep accidentally killing themselves, and then like and it like it just like snowballs, and they're like like no matter what these like poor innocent hillbillies do, they just like these. These people keep like stumbling and like killing themselves. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, one student gets like freaked out, and then like trip and fall and like impale their heads like on a, on a on a stump of wood, yeah. right? So then when they come around, like the dude was just chopping wood with with his chainsaw. They're like, oh my god, they killed him! And they're like, no! And he's like, what are y'all doing? Like I'm just chopping wood, you know? Like, yeah, most. like yeah, I remember because that one dude impales himself on that stump, and then another guy comes across him and he's freaking out, and he's got a wood chipper going because there's like yeah, these two, it's like literally these it's two like, hillbillies. They bought like their dream cabin. They're super happy. They're just in the woods doing their thing, and he's got a wood chipper, chipper and cleaning then the, the property. Acts. And the guy's like, oh my god, you kill so and so, and he trips and he falls into the wood chipper. Yeah, oh and then god. yeah, he's like. He's like trying to take the kid out of the wood chipper. Oh my god! Like get out of the wood chipper! Like his head is already yeah. in there. <laughs> so like when the when the college students come, like he's seeing his his he he's like trying to take the kid out. So he's holding his legs, and the guys are like, "They're fucking killers!" Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then at one <laughs> yeah, and then and then at one point, like a cop even accidentally kills himself, and like. One of the hillbillies was just happened to be standing right behind him. He's like, "Oh no!" And like again, like the college students are like, "He killed the cop." It's, like, <laughs> it's actually a really good movie. It's yeah, one of my favorite movies. Yeah, it's, it's Tucker and Dale, or yeah, yeah. Vers Evil. It's, it's really, really funny. funny. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it's just like these two innocent like hillbillies, but they keep getting like, like accused of killing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that was a good movie. Uh, oh, another funny horror movie was Rubber. With, <laughs> yes, I thought Rubber was Robin Williams. That's oh, that's Flubber. <laughs> that's not a horror movie. Did you oh, okay. see Rubber? No. Oh, Max! Holy shit! Yeah, it was about oh Rubber. It's about it's a tire. Just like this tire. That is just like possessed by evil. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. One of my best friends and I, before I moved here, one of our thing was always to try to find the worst scary movies possible, and then we would watch them. And so, like, that's one of the movies yeah. that's on my list. But then I moved. There was another one called like the. It was like a chair that ate people. <laughs> It's like it's like this recliner with teeth. Which actually seems like a pretty reasonable preface for like easily killing people. Though. It, it's like this chair would like eat you. You guys seen Hobo with a shotgun? No. That one got pretty real pretty fast. Hobo with a shotgun dead. It's like a hobo who uh, is saving up his money so he can buy a lawnmower. And he lives in this like horrible area because he wants like mow lawns and make money. But he ends up buying a shotgun and basically starts taking out vigilante justice you guys seen wolf cop ever heard of wolf cop no a cop turns into a werewolf and he kills bad guys with his werewolf powers an american werewolf in london that is good best werewolf transformation scene of like any scary movie probably oh talking about uh special effects you had a good halloween topic um uh practical effects versus cg CGI. Effects. If CGI, yeah, CGI is ruining like yeah. practical effects and like actually having like scary moments in movies. Yeah, what do you think of that? Are they overcompensating with special effects nowadays, do you think? Yeah, like practical effects were way better. Like when like a zombie would bite someone like in those old Night of the Living Dead movies when they would bite them off their shoulder or whatever, it looked like they actually took a chunk out of their shoulder, you know. Well, you 
and also not just effects, but have you guys seen the original Psycho movie? Like Alfred Hitchcock Psycho? No. I still think that's like one of the scariest movies I've ever probably watched in my life. Because of the effects? No, not even effects. Oh. It was just like the story. Like they made it scary. Like suspense and build up and all that stuff. Like the more money people pump into movies and like the more effects they have and like crazy witches to kill people and whatever, they like take, I think it detracts from the actual story building and like making it scary. Well, now when you say that, do you mean like the special effects or, or I mean the, the computer effects or like the um, practical effects? Mm, I guess that's sort of two separate things, but I still think practical effects are better than like computer generated yeah. effects. Nothing, no, again, no offense to 13 ghosts or anything. <laughs> Hey, when that ghost got cut, or that person got cut in half by the glass door, still remember that. I think that's the one scene I saw, right? Where, like, he just kind of, like, comes apart. Yeah. yeah. Just, right in the middle. He gets he gets cut like this, not like not like this, like this. Like sideways, like straight down. Like, so you see his brain, yeah. Destination movies? Oh, or, dude, those or, movies uh, freak me out. Yeah. Final yeah. Destination has made it so no one feels safe driving behind a log truck. <laughs> yeah, you're right, because I saw um, someone recently posted a photo of, like, a log that, like, went halfway through their windshield, and they go, they go, Final Destination was right, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck that shit. I, I purposely don't ever watch the, like, I think there's, there's, like, four movies now. I think there's five. Those movies are the worst. Yeah, I just, like, don't even tangle into that at all, like, um... Or, or what was it like they were in the field right and there was like an explosion and it sent like the barbed wire like like going yeah and cut that dude and then out. dude like just like he's standing there for a second and then his body like just like in five different yeah. locations like yeah it's so <laughs> gnarly and, or yeah where they're talking about glass like when they're licking up the glass and then like the like the cable breaks and the glass comes down just and he just yeah. just like Crushes them in the most evil way ever. That's like the, I think that's the second one. I swear to like, no. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like this. Any of the realistic much. ones, it seems like, are the ones, well, realistic. That's why When a Stranger Calls is scary. <laughs> Has anybody seen that movie? That when we were talking about, like, what's the scariest movie you've ever seen? That's the scariest movie I've ever seen. Because it could happen. It's the one where, like, she's babysitting. And they're like, the call is coming from inside the house. Get oh, out of the house. Yes. Yeah, dude. No way. That one freaks me out. <laughs> At least it did. I don't know if I rewatch it now if it would, but. <sighs> what, what's your I get goosebumps movie? just thinking about it. What do we think are going to be the, the top Halloween costumes this year? Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it already is. They're taking it off eBay and stuff because people are so upset about it. It's all here about like to pick on top of uh, your other glasses because they had that they got like the double tier. <laughs> Those are just aviator glasses. There's nothing special about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably so. Yeah. yeah, I guess you can see that. What else would be a top costume? I think my costume is going to be a top costume this year, to be honest. And I'm not usually someone that likes to go with costumes that I know other people are going to do, but I'm doing Sandy from Greece. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Because she passed away this year, I was like, "This is the year to do it." And I'm go. definitely going with Bad Sandy. Bad. <laughs> what is Bad? Oh, Bad. The one Sandy. in let the one that wears leather. Tell me yeah. about it, Stud. Yep, bad that Sandy. One. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what what made you go with that one and not the other one? Well, one's way more fun, Max. Bad girls have more. Because fun. it's a lot cheaper when you already have pretty much all the outfit. <laughs> And she lost her Australian accent. <laughs> so it's easier to stay in character. That's a good question. I, I don't know what I would be. Like, what else happened this year that could happen? Could be a costume? Yeah, there haven't really been any movies like the, Har- like the Harley Quinn thing that happened, what, like three years ago where everybody was Harley Quinn? Well, I guess you could be like Top Gun. Yeah, Top Gun will be Top popular Gun. Is there this a new year. Top Gun? Yeah, Top oh, yeah. Gun Maverick, the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah. That'll, yeah. Be, that'll, that'll, be that'll, be that'll be popular. That, this is a good topic. There's a lot. Are you familiar with what Max is dressed up like? No, absolutely not. Max <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, plays the best Ed Bassmaster. Is, it, it, he's a comedian, and it's just like, it's just, I don't even, where did you get that sweater at, dude? 
I got this sweater at the thrift store. Oh, man. I actually like the sweater. Yeah, he just... And he just he just goes he just goes up to like he he he's one of those YouTubers who's just like out in the public and he dressed like this. He just goes up to people and he's just like and he's just like unreal. And then he just like walks away. And then like the people are just like what the fuck is up with this guy? I got to say you're really good at describing this. Unreal. I'm going to be out of town for Halloween so What about the queen? You think people will de her since she passed? Oh, Queen Elizabeth? I don't know. It's kind of hard to be 90 years old. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not that hard if you look in the mirror. <laughs> Throne dress or something? I mean, maybe like the Hocus Pocus thing will be big this year. Since oh, Hocus yes. Came they out. will. I think they will. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Anything else that happened? Like, what happened this year? Um, I mean... Not a lot of, I mean, it's. A, I always feel like it's like whatever superhero movie comes out, a lot of people are that, but mm-hmm. there haven't been any like good costume worthy superhero movies this year, I guess, if that makes what sense. What about any Lord of the Rings? Um, uh, maybe Lord of the Rings. I haven't watched the new series. But. She-Hulk. Oh, She-Hulk. Maybe. But that takes effort. <laughs> like getting all green and stuff. Most, I have like the, we have like the most epic Mr. Hanky costume ever and it's Mr. Hanky Christmas, 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 Christmas what yeah. yeah do you think people go as Marilyn Monroe because of the Marilyn Monroe Netflix movie I don't know if that'll no. do people go as that ever that. I know Anna de Armas plays it that's the only reason I know because she's attractive hmm. I don't know that it seems like there hasn't been a whole lot that happened this year <laughs> not for Halloween costumes yeah like I'm trying to think the only thing that's really happened this year is the extraordinary amount of cold calls about voting. Yeah, that's really annoying. Yeah, I've gotten more spam phone if calls this year than any year I've like, ever If I had. didn't have a costume, a telemarketer would be a really yeah, good it's like, costume. It's like I get these notifications. Did you vote? Are you voting? What are, you, what are, your, what are your thoughts? What are you, I'm like, just shut up. I'm from Vegas, and I haven't lived in Nevada in years. And I'm still getting messages from Nevada saying, hey, vote, vote, vote. I haven't lived in Nevada in years. Just because I have a 702 phone number doesn't mean anything these days. Yeah. It's annoying. Hmm. I mean, you could be Putin for Halloween. (laughs) That's a little scary. Ukraine? Yeah. I don't know. The most popular costumes, I think, are just the easiest ones usually for people. The which ones? Jake from State Farm is always a crowd favorite because... Red Polo, Jake from State Farm. <laughs> Khakis. <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything else, uh, like any other topics. I think if enough people watch this podcast, you will be a Halloween costume this year. <laughs> Give me a second. Favorite? Candy. Oh, Halloween candy. What's well, candy in general? Ooh. It doesn't have to be Halloween candy necessarily. Although I will say, um, I, Reese's always taste yeah, better Reese's. when they're shaped like something. Yeah, Reese's. <laughs> like if a like, Reese's is shaped like a pumpkin or a Christmas tree, whatever the season, always better than just the normal Reese's cup. So it's funny you 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 said that because I like those little tiny Reese's cups, like those little ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you yeah. got to put them in the fridge. Mm-hmm. That's freeze what them. Keep, that's what people keep telling me. I like to freeze them. <laughs> oh yeah, the fentanyl stuff. Oh my gosh, I saw the funniest freaking meme the other day. <laughs> <laughs> where it showed, it showed like this, this massive like, like military machine gun with like like, like bullets, bullets like connected, connected to a chain and like a like bunch a, of a belt fed, fed machine yeah gun. belt fed, fed machine gun, gun. and uh, there was a bunch of candy next to it in a bag and like this lady's like guys check your children's uh, Halloween bag I just found this <laughs> machine gun in. <laughs> What is your favorite candy? Oh, favorite candy. Right. So, um, yeah, Reese's. Reese's, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Reese's is everyone's favorite. Yeah, Reese's. I I don't think it's my favorite. I think Reese's are delicious. Wait, what's your favorite? It's, mm, It's tough. I really like Kit Kat bars. And I red vines. I really like Kit Kat bars. I really like Mr. Good bars, and I really like Crackle bars. 
Man, you the, are just the, a bar, man. The problem with Crackle <laughs> Bars is you can always get them in, like, the fun packs, you know? Like, it always has, like, the Hershey's Dark Chocolate, the Mr. Good Bar, the Chocolate, and the, dark, and the Crackle. It's the orange one, like the rice chocolate bar, like kind of like a crunch. But crackles are hard to find in a full-size candy bar. I've only ever found them at Walmart. I don't even know if they have them there now, but I do love a good crackle. Mounds are good, too. Sit there so you can talk into the... Sit in the... Sit, sit, sit. Sit in the chair that will eat you. <laughs> okay, explain away. I mean, now you're talking about that's like more like a crunch bar. Yeah. Like not a crackle bar. No, crunch bars and crackle bars are the same. It's just branding. I just like... I think I like crackles more than crunch. Uh, I don't know if there's a big difference. One has a yellow wrapper and one has a blue wrapper. Crackles have orange wrappers. Mr. Good Bars have yellow wrappers. They're orange red. They're scarlet. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Mr. Good Bar, Mr. Good Bar is yellow. Mr. Good Bar is yellow. Do you guys like uh, Hershey's? Have you ever had a Hershey's Symphony Bar? It's like a normal chocolate bar, but the chocolate just is like, I'd think it's better. They're like white wrappers, and they just say Symphony under her. She's either in blue or red. I don't heat. I don't heat. I don't eat a whole lot of candy. Neither do um, I. I mean, I like uh, what, what's it called? Not the licorice, but it's like the the twist, the twist Twizzlers. Twizzlers, yeah, I like Twizzlers. I need one. I like those. Those are good. I like re- I like the big ones you get at baseball games. You know, like the ropes. Oh, there you go. Oh, the licorice. Oh, yeah, yeah, those are good. It's red rope. That's it. I'd like. Re- I'd like. I don't really love any of it, but Red Rope was probably my favorite. I don't know. I love the regular Red Vines that come in the tubs, but they always get hard way too Yeah, fast. that's the problem. Like, I, I like those too, but – well, hold on. So, We're talking Red Vines specific. Yeah, like I'm with you. Those are really good, but the problem is is that they get hard way – like the, the moment air gets to them, it's like, Fuck. <laughs> You have like a good like day, yeah, and then it gets hard. Yeah, I don't like it when they're hard. I like Twizzlers better than I love it when they're mines. hard. I don't like it. It makes hard. things easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, limp licorice is the way to go. <laughs> oh, we're still talking about licorice. My bad. Limp and soft. That's how we like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, it depends on the situation. Right. right. True you are. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, again, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Say that, Say that again, Eddie. Like, favorite kill scene in a favorite, horror movie? Like, kill, like, the most epic, like, what's the favorite kill scene you've ever, like... We already most, like, talked about mine. When the glass goes through the guy. All right. Like, so most iconic horror movie kill scene, I think, is... Because it's my favorite horror movie is in Halloween, when the dude's like in the kitchen and he's looking for a beer, and Michael Myers just like picks him up and throws him against the wall and he like pins him there, but he like stands there and he's like looking at him for a second. He just kind of like tilts his head. I don't know. There's just oh my I, there's just something about it and it's like super creepy because like you see how he's yeah. Well, he didn't know it was coming. Like Michael Myers literally like busts out of the closet he like picks him up and then he just stabs him in the chest you know what i think i remember he's like, he's like hanging there and michael myers is just like looking at him for like 10 seconds and he just kind of like like tilts his head like this and just like walks away i think i remember that scene it's just like iconic because it shows is like, that the how first he's, like, movie not, yeah like yeah. how he's like not human at all he's just like totally but he gone. is human he is human but yeah uh pure evil i lied that's not my favorite I do remember that one. And I the reason I don't bring up the other one, my actual favorite, is because I, for the life of me, can't remember the name of the movie. But it's the movie that my friend and I first watched and realized that we need to watch all these terrible, scary movies. And the kill scene is this clown murderer is chasing these two girls around some warehouse. He catches one of them, and he strings her up upside down, and then he chainsaws her from the middle... And then just keeps going until she dies, oh. and then she, and then he just goes all the way through. And you and cutting people in half. <laughs> um, so my that one was actually playing. I went on a bar crawl shortly after that. I was in um, Seattle, so after Halloween, which is when I watched it, I went to Seattle for New Year's, and there was a bar that was playing this movie, and we just happened to sit down inside right before that scene was coming on. I had to video the scene and everyone's reaction because I knew what was coming. It is just, it is so bad. The best cheesy horror movie kills, 
like Friday the 13th, so Jason Voorhees. When they made the third one, it was like literally Friday the 13th 3D. So all like the kill movies, they tried to like tailor to a 3D audience, but it was the 80s, so it was not good. But there's this one scene where like she's standing there looking for her boyfriend or whatever, and she can't find him, but he's like in the background, you can see him. And the killer's like crushing his head, and then he just like crushes it enough, and his eyeballs just oh, shoot shit. out. <laughs> Not so, realistic. I don't think. You yeah. Can crush Have you ever watched like that, an but... actual 3D movie with the blue and the red glasses? Just Spy Kids 3D. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. There's a super fucked up scene. Like, uh, did you guys ever watch any of the Rob Zombie movies? Mm-hmm. Like, I think I think it was. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Did you ever watch that movie? I, uh, I know no, I've I seen don't. it. I don't remember Where it. It's, they're, they're just fucked up, right? And 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 the guy's like pointing a... I, this might be a different one of the Rob Zombie movies where he's pointing a gun. He's like, and he's like, you better pray to your gods. That blah, blah, blah. And the, and the guy's on his knees, right? And like, he's like, he starts praying. And then, and then the, the guy's like, oh... Oh, I can feel like the force is coming to get me, and then like, or, or like, like the prayer was doing something for him, and then he, he waits there for a second, and then like the movie goes silent, and then it's like a minute wait, and there's nothing, and then all of a sudden, just like shoots the guy in the head, like, I'm like, oh my god, it was like the worst fucking kill shot so, so- ever. What about those Exorcist movies? No, so I, I was going to say my favorite kill scene in a horror movie is, uh, have you guys seen, like, Day of the Dead? I know I have. Dawn I don't remember of the Dead? It. Not, de- not Dawn of the Dead. There's a bunch dead. of them. There's but so many there's of Day of the Dead. Yeah. Shaun of the Dead? No, not Shaun of the Dead. Okay, that's a funny horror movie. Yeah, that's a funny horror movie. I forgot about that one. But there's a scene at the very end where, like, the villain gets, like, taken over by zombies, and they literally just, like, rip his, like, stomach apart. And they're like, they're like eating his intestines and shit. And it's like, whoa. That was that was wild. And then another like his his partner gets his head ripped off by the zombies. And it was like it was practical effects like you were talking about. Like it looked real. Like it looked nasty. I mean, going off of what Eddie was saying, I will say Rob Zombie does come up with like some of the most fucked up like stuff in horror movies for sure. Like is it the de- I think it was the Devil's Rejects, where like they cut off that dude's face and like wear like a mask around his wife. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. Gnarly shit. Yeah. Or like when Rob Rob Zombie remade the Halloween movies, and like those were jacked up. Like the first person like the kid kills is his bully. He like, like the bully's like he follows his bully home. And he just, like, beats him to death with, like, a big stick that he finds in the woods. And it's brutal. Dude, it's brutal. Yeah. yeah fuck. Except the Monsters, which I haven't watched yet, but I'm looking forward to it. The which one? He remade, like, you know the Monsters from, like, the 60s or 70s? It's the Monsters. It's, like, it's different. The I, was thinking, like, I was thinking. I was thinking the monsters, monsters, like the Disney no, movie. So the monsters were like, <laughs> were like <laughs> Monsters Inc. The, yeah, I was like, wow, that's that would be interesting. Make that into like a horror, like <laughs> animation. You would, you, would, you would know the monsters if you saw it. Like the dad's like Frankenstein's monster. The mom's a vampire. Their son's a werewolf, and they live with their grandpa. Okay. And then their like cousin is normal. I don't can't remember her name, but like basically, yeah, they're just like it's like a situational comedy of a family, but they're monsters, and everybody's scared of them. And they just remade, like, Rob Zombie made, like, a rom-com about when Herman met, what's her name? I don't know the lady's name in the movie, but Adam's Family. I, Adam's Family's always kind of been weird. Zombieland was another of those comedies. Oh, Zombieland yeah. and Zombieland 2. Those were both really good movies. Yeah, uh, talking about comedy movies, yeah, uh, Shaun of the Dead was, that was a good one. Where, yeah, where, it was funny. Yeah, my favorite scene was when, uh, was when um, they had to act like zombies walking through like this area. Mm-hmm. They're like, "Give me your best impression." So everyone's like giving their best impression, and then you go to like that old lady, and she's just standing there, and he's like, "That's great." <laughs> and so like they're like walking through, and everyone's like acting like a zombie, and then they they like go to her, and she's just like walking normally. <laughs> I like how in the like the first like the first scene. 
the, they're basically like just showing that like half of the population is already zombies like doing menial job like menial jobs you know like cash register stuff delivering uh, water deposit <laughs> bottles pretty mindless work what was this uh what movie was this Shaun of the dead oh yeah Shaun and then the at dead, the very yeah. end too like the zombies are like working in grocery stores and uh his his friend is like still in the basement as yeah he's playing right. video games that's right give me your best this is, oh, oh sorry yeah this is back to Shaun of the dead he's like give me your best this uh like zombies and then the other guy's like <laughs> And then he's like, goes to the mom, and she's like, he's like, give me your best uh, zombie, and she's just standing there. And he's like, okay, that'll work. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, and then and then remember when they run into like the other group, and, and they, they all like, look the they same. All like the same. They're basically the same like, people. They have like the nerdy guy, and then like the nerdy woman, and then like the fat guy, and then <laughs> the old lady. <laughs> that was so. And then I liked the part where like. They were trying to, they come up with like this elaborate plan of like how to get back to the pub. <laughs> like the plan just kept changing. Do you remember that part? Yeah, I mean, I do think that's sort of like a funny thing. Well, it's sort of like a, like off topic, but like about that movie that's sort of funny to us because in the movie, the pub has like a gun in it, right? Because yeah. I, think, I think that's like funnier to like the UK or like, it's less... It just shows how much Americans love guns because in America, guns are like everywhere. Oh, that's true. In yeah. England or yeah. whatever town they're in, probably the only gun in town was like in the pub. <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's like, we need to get to the pub. There's a shotgun above the bar. Where like in America, it's like, oh, we need to go in. Nine out of ten of these houses will yeah. find a gun. And nine yeah, out of in ten America. Of these houses. And just one shotgun, one bullet. That's it. So Zombieland. Oh, yeah, Zombieland. I never saw that one. What? You've never seen No, Zombieland? I heard it was funny, though. You need to see both of them. They're so good. Woody Harrelson, so good. They end up in a uh, theme park. Abandoned. I saw a little bit of that. It gives you all the tips of what to do. The double tap. <laughs> Make sure it's dead. Like, there's different like iterations of zombie movies, right? Some zombie movies, like, they're full-out sprinting towards you, and they're, like, grabbing just like, going after you. Or there's, like, other ones, like The Walking Dead, where they're literally, they're just walking towards you. Like, I don't know, do you... If zombies were to be a real thing, which one do you think is more accurate? I honestly think they would be the sprinting type. I don't. I mean, I don't. it would depend on what turned you into a zombie. Because, like, was it World War Z, like the Brad Pitt one, where they could run and, like, and, like that, was, on each other? that wasn't, like, they weren't dead. They all had, like, rabies or, like, yeah. some weird mutated form of rabies. I feel like that would be more realistic, though. But, I think maybe they start off kind of that way, depending on how they die, obviously. But your body is going to decompose naturally. Yeah, and I mean... And you're going to get slower. And if yeah, you were actually... So, but it, if you were actually but, dead too, like rigor mortis, like wouldn't you literally not be able to move? It's not like part of it. It's not what rigor mortis says. Don't you but freeze up? But they're the up? living dead. Like on the walking dead, we could go down another rabbit hole on that, but... I, they're slow. They, they get bit, and then a couple hours later, then they like come to life, and I guess I could see that too, though. I feel like that would be more realistic. I think with zombies, you'd have to just worry about the sheer number of them as opposed to, like, one of them. Like, if you saw one zombie, you'd be like, okay, I'm just going to walk around you because I'm a lot faster. But, like, when you get into a situation where there's, like, 30 of them in a small area and you don't know they were there when you went in, like, that's where it would be better. Well, you're, you'd have to be worried about the zombies because they're going to walk into universities and get indoctrinated. <laughs> and next thing you know, they're going to they're gonna be educated. <laughs> And more educated than you. Yeah, because more they, educated they than you. went to the university. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think this is already happening. <laughs> Zombies, the new version of Sheeple. <laughs> I don't know. In your opinion, do you think they drug out The Walking Dead too much? Oh, The oh, Walking, Walking Dead? Dead? Yeah. Dude, Walking Did you Dead. watch all of them? <clears throat> I haven't watched the last season. But I haven't watched the last season either. I just wait till it's on Netflix. I personally think the it's Walking. On. I personally the last think. Season is? Uh -huh. I think they have one more that has to come up. I think the Walking Dead should have ended when they captured Negan. 
They should have just like killed him, and then that was the end of it. Mm. They just uh, it just drug. That was like the peak, and then it just should have just ended. And then I don't know what they did after that. Was, yeah. That just reminds me of another series that should have ended, but each new season, somehow they were in this bubble, and somehow they were in space. I'm talking about the 100. Mm. Oh, I never like, watched I that. Felt like it, they had a good like first four seasons or something. It had like the perfect ending, and then <clears throat> it kept going. Yeah. And then they had to figure out different things. And I mean, it ended up in a good spot at the very end, but some of those seasons, it went weird. Yeah. I heard that show did start off really good. Yeah, the the one I think the only show that really pulled it off like flawlessly was Breaking Bad. Do you ever see? I never got into it. I tried watching it? the first se- the first season. Just never it just got into it, it just like it it told the story and then it just ended and it just ended. Like all right, how I mean, many seasons does that? show I think have? it has like six seasons, five or six. Yeah, yeah. Breaking Bad. There was, was only there was only like a few episodes that were dumb. Only like two episodes I thought were stupid, and that was it. But it like, was a really good show, but yeah. it's just so depressing. It's hard to watch. How? It's like sad, dude. Like it, th- those types of shows just like leave you drained. I like, guess so. Oh, like no, nothing happy ever happens. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, horrible stuff all the time. What's that one sitcom out? The um, was it Last Man on Earth or Last Man Standing? Or oh, the one last with man the, alive or the whatever SNL it is. guy, and he's like the last guy. And he's like it, yeah. the last guy. I watched a few episodes of that, but I didn't get into it. If you're the last guy on earth, do you think women would want you? Oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I thought you were talking like last man on earth, like literally no one else existed. No, the, only, you're, the last guy. Oh, dude, you get you get pussy all fucking day. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm the last man alive. Like, what here. if you're like hideous and like oh, no. STD ridden and like everything? You still think you could be laid? Oh yeah, because you'd be the last man alive. It depends if you want to procreate. I guess yeah. I mean, if you're gay, then you're. I guess yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> but if you're straight and you're last man alive, man, world is your oyster. I don't oyster, know. I feel like know? strap-ons <laughs> might become a thing at that point. Oh my god, <laughs> this is taking a turn. <laughs> Uh. We already tried talking about him. <laughs> about who? Dahmer. But no one Who's else watched Dahmer? the Jeffrey Dahmer, the one that there's this, a series that just killer. came out. Oh my god. He ate gosh. people. He was the gay guy. I'm so They're gonna like, get killed. He like preyed on like poor poor people and like he would eat them. He preyed on barrels. um gay guys at the club mostly. Mm-hmm. He would bring them home and they would never be seen again. Wow. He's cannibal. Yeah. yeah. He had like a barrel of acid in his apartment. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Where he'd like decompose like bodies and stuff and just have the skeletons left. What? Like the bones and stuff after he like. I heard like he. I heard like he confessed about it all. Yeah. So is this series like one episode or is it like multiple episodes? I think it's multiple. Yeah, I think it's like eight. That's this new bad. one, the new one. So they I have to watch that. They started it from the beginning, yeah. like went before he started doing it. Like showed his childhood and like what may have led to yeah, him wasn't being it, the way he is, he was. Yeah, wasn't it like they deep like I just saw someone talking about this the other. Like I've also seen the the Jeffrey Dahmer tapes, which are taped interviews. Yeah. of him talking about his crime. Didn't they like stuff. dissect like animals or something? He got into taxidermy. Ah. Uh-huh. Weird. Yeah, with his dad. Hmm. Jeffrey Dahmer's kind of like, what would have happened to Dexter if he didn't kill serial other serial killers? I never got into Dexter. The first person he killed, like obviously in denial, like he's like, no, like that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. But as the series continues, like. It becomes creepy because then all of a sudden he like kind of enjoys it and like continues to do it and do it and do it and then and then now he like seeks it. Mm-hmm. It's like creepy. How many people did he kill? He was convict. He was convicted of I think nine. Yeah, eight or, or nine. no, it was it, he was convicted of nine and then three got overturned, so he was actually convicted of six. I'm wow. pretty sure. But they found the remains of like what they thought were like. At first, like, eight or nine people, and then I think it went, yeah, like she said, it went down. 
Wow. But he'd like keep their bones, their teeth, all that stuff. He had a head in his refrigerator wow. when the cops caught him. So there's a new series out on Hulu I've been watching called The Patient. Has anyone seen it? Mm-mm. It's about a serial killer. And he kidnaps his... He goes to therapy because he wants to stop killing. And then he kidnaps his therapist because he thinks having his therapist at his beck and call in his basement is going to help him not keep con- continuing to kill. And it's a new series. So there's only like a handful. Right? It's only... I don't... I don't know who the it guy is. from The Office isn't he I've the therapist? I've never watched The Office. Oh, what? <laughs> what? This is that's the scariest thing I've ever heard. Dude, I've that is the scariest story. show I've ever seen. Did you see? Did you see the one guy in The Office? Have you not seen The Office either? Are you being sarcastic? No, I saw. Okay. <laughs> I saw some Office. <laughs> I have. I'm not being sarcastic. I have not seen The Office. <laughs> You're walking home. <laughs> Go home. My turn. <laughs> All right. Here's a good. Here's a good little finisher. If we want to finish up on this, but what is the favorite Halloween costume that you guys have ever worn? I think I have, I think a, co- I have you know. a couple. I don't have a favorite. You can you can say it. You can tell us what the couple are. What this? Yeah, I think that's your This. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I like this costume. I mean, it gets the women. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I get it, man. That sweater. You know, they like a man, you know. They like a real masculine man. <laughs> I don't know. I have a top two favorite costumes that I've done, but then I also have to tell you about my third before. So in 2020, shut down. Everything was shut down. Nothing was open. No one could travel, like all of that. So what was the perfect costume for me, someone who avidly travels? I decided to be a sexy flight attendant. And so (laughs) I was a flight attendant and at the bars, I mean, we still had to kind of like distance ourselves occupancy wise and stuff. But I had little mini bags of pretzels that I was handing out. Oh, that's pretty clever. Actually, that's really funny. That's nice. But that wasn't my top two. My top two, that one was just funny because it just happened to be good for that particular Halloween. Mm -hmm. I was missing socks one year. What what does that mean? You know how socks go missing in the washing machine? You only have like one sock of that sock. They end up going to Gord's house outside of Halloween Town. <laughs> I was missing socks. I just wore I wore socks all over me. I had them sewn onto a shirt and I had like a washing machine that I painted onto my huh. stomach and it said single seeking mate. Oh. Huh. Huh. Never even would have thought of that. That's pretty clever. That's clever too. <laughs> that was tied with my other favorite, which was back when I was still living in Vegas. So everything in Vegas is like as skimpy as possible pretty much. So I was an Indianapolis Colt. I'm a Colts fan. So I was like a little blue and white pony, but it was like blue lingerie, booty shorts, and like I had the hair done and the ears. (laughs) It was really sexy. I really liked that costume. Yeah, I was Frankenstein's monster (laughs) one year. (laughs) That was my best. But I actually built like this. It was cool. I used a poster board and this like black felt stuff, and I actually built like a hat that I could put on that made uh-huh. my head like six inches taller and was like flat. Like square, yeah. I was pretty proud of that. Right one. on. What about you, Jensen? Your favorite Halloween costume? That you dressed up as. Uh... Come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was an army man for three Halloweens in a row. <laughs> Were your feet to, to tape together? And you walk like this all night? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good costume. Like a little army man. Dude, that would actually be a great that would be a great that would costume. Be great. <laughs> that would be funny. Like get shoes that are cemented into like wood. So like no matter what, you can't yeah. like get out. That's so good. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Just makes me think of Toy Story. The Army yeah, Man and Toy Story. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Eddie knows. Uh, favorite 
One of our favorite costumes is uh, Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo. <laughs> That gives you so much attention. I have no idea what this South is. South Park. South Park, yeah. I have no um, idea what this is. Have you ever seen South Park? I've seen, like, I don't watch it, but I've you seen don't it. You don't know who Mr. Hanky the, the Christmas, Christmas Poo is? <laughs> They're so it's this, every it's year they'd have a Halloween special. He's no, a no, piece of poo. No, not Halloween. It was Christmas. Christmas. That's yeah. it. Yeah. During Christmas time, a piece of poop would come out of the toilet and he'd be like, hi ho He was like, Mr. Hanky the Christmas poo. He'd be like, I'm Mr. Hanky the Christmas poo. And All the like Christmas this whole, spirit like, would bring him to life. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He was no. a poop. <laughs> and, no as he would, and as he would hop around, he'd leave like little like, like poop stains. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> No, I have no idea about this. The only thing I really remember from that show is when I think it's Kenny mm-hmm. has Tourette's. Cartman has Tourette's. Cartman. Oh, Cartman. Oh. Well, he uses an excuse, but then yeah, he no, actually Kenny develops Tourette's because he pretends he has it so much. Oh, Kenny, okay. Kenny he just keeps Kenny cursing. Kenny just dies all the time. Yeah, Kenny just dies all the time. He just Was curses that, a what's lot. What's your favorite costume, Eddie? This is Tourette's. Yeah, it is, uh, Mr. Hanky, Were you Mr. Hanky too? Were you guys both Mr. Hanky? Oh, yeah, we, we, yeah, we've all we passed that one around a lot. <laughs> I, do you guys have pictures? Because I got to see this It's costume. literally like a mascot costume. Cause, oh, like, my God. Because, like, the head. Yeah, there's a pillow. Yeah, you see through his mouth. Was it expensive? It sounds expensive. I feel no, like you homemade. should get pictures of no all of these costumes and put them in the Yeah, year. I'll have to do that. Yeah, no, I... Yeah, it's like it's like a, a mascot costume. The That's head's up great. here, and then you're looking through his mouth. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. That is good. <laughs> I'm surprised he wasn't him when he came in. <laughs> Where is the costume now? Uh, our parents' house. Did your mom make it? Uh, who made it, Eddie? Yeah, she did. Oh, okay, yeah. That's cool. They just took it was easy. They just took like brown fabric and just like made a poop cut on both sides and then like sewed it together. And then they put like the um you know like the scream mask mm-hmm. where like you could see through one way but you can't see through yeah. the other way. They just put that as like the mouth and then they just sewed like a pillow on top for the head. Yeah, I got to see pictures of this costume. Yeah, it's sure. it's amazing. And then your arms just stick out. You know, it's just like basically yeah. a glorified like coat. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And then they cut a little like hole for your beer. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> so What is that? That's Ed Bassmaster. Oh yeah, that's me. <laughs> Ow. Somehow you just getting like one hair. Doesn't that look like him? <laughs> you need to do this. <laughs> but yeah i don't know what else to talk about um i'm tapped I think, out yeah i think we squeezed the juice out on uh on this one so uh yeah 